sleep, this time on Metasploit Minute. Metasploit Minute is brought to you by viewers like you. If you get value from this show and you can spare even a dollar, please consider contributing at metasploitminute.com. Welcome to Metasploit Minute, the breakdown on breaking in. I'm your host, Rob Fuller, but you can call me Mubix. Today, we're going to talk about sleep, one of the most wonderful things in the world. But in, in this sense, we're talking about it inside of Interpreter, one of my most coveted features of all time. I've been waiting for this thing to actually be inside of Interpreter for a very, very long time. So we're going to show and go into one of the sessions we already have. Sessions-I1, sleep-H. All right, so you're thinking, this is just sleep. All this is doing is going to tell it to go to sleep for a period of time. Why would anybody want this? Well, I'll tell you why. If incident response is coming at you and you see, you know, TCP view or, or process monitor pop up all of a sudden in your process list, you can tell the interpreter to go to sleep. No more communications to happen for the next 5, 20 minutes, whatever. You can set it to go to sleep for an hour, two days, however you wish. And the interpreter will just stay there. The, the binary will be still running, but it's not going to make a peep, which is awesome. So watch. Sleep. It's so simple. Sleep. 20 seconds. So this is telling the instance of interpreter to go to sleep for 20 seconds. Now, what's going to happen while we're waiting here and I'm talking to you is that after 20 seconds, it's just going to come right back. Again, this might seem like a very simple thing, but it's incredibly useful. You can tell things to go to sleep for however long you want and, and just tell it to go away. And there it is. Welcome back. And we can continue on with our session from there after incident response has come and gone or the user has come and gone. Whatever. We just want to make it disappear. The communications disappear for a period of time. So that's really it. Tell me what you think about this episode. It's a really short one. So we're actually getting close to the, you know, Metasploit Minute by emailing at msf at hack5.org. And stay tuned to metasploitminute.com for more shows like these. Huge thanks to everyone who's supporting the show with likes or Patreon cont contributions. You can actually support us at patreon.com slash movix if you want to pitch in a dollar, five dollars, whatever. Every dollar goes to making this show just for you. I'm really, really grateful. So until next time, I'm Movix and I'll be hacking till the cows come home.